What's up everyone? Welcome to my YouTube channel. Right now I'm here at Gabby's house and today we're gonna show you some creative concepts that you can use for your photo shoots at home. Disclaimer, some of the concepts are not originally mine. Uh, some are inspired by other YouTubers and photographers. Today I'm gonna be using my trusty Fujifilm X-T30 alongside the 16, 23, 35, and 56 millimeter prime lenses. Are you ready? Mm hmm Ako! Emote lang ako. Okay. Okay, <laughs> Let's get to it. So for this uh, layout, this is inspired by another YouTuber. No, by me. Uh, si Gab kasi she loves flowers. So, so na medyo nalalanta na yung flowers. So it's good that we make use of them. I'll be using the 16mm first. Headband. What's a hair tie? Hair tie pala. <laughs> hair tie. <laughs> So the roundness of the roses doesn't work that well with uh, the shot. So we're changing to these. So this is the setup. I'm using the 16mm 1.4 from Fujifilm. I used uh, one of Gab's hair ties to attach these, uh, these, dried, <laughs> these dried flowers onto the lens. For this shot, I'm going to be using a custom picture profile from uh, a website. It's linked down below. So what I'm trying now is I'm trying to utilize the JPEG processing of the Fujifilm X-T30 without having to change much color in post. Okay. Oh wow! I posted it on my IG. <laughs> good, good. What do you think? Nice. Para siyang, ano, pang, ano, tumbler. <laughs> and it's so easy to do. Okay, next oh. one. For the next shots, we're gonna play around with Fujifilm's double exposure mode. So for Fuji users, you just gotta move the dial to this uh, double square here to start shooting double exposures. On other brands, you can find them in many game. First, we're gonna shoot her portrait. So nice. That's the base shot, and then we're gonna use some of her dried flowers for the second leg. Yon. Beautiful. So for our next creative shot, we're gonna use the ref. I'm gonna place my camera inside, then I'll remotely control it with my phone. So now we're here outside Gabby's house, the garden area niya. It's golden hour, which is the perfect hour to take photos kasi maganda yung tama ng araw sa skin. So it produces the best skin tone without having harsh light. So we're gonna do things a little bit different rather than just shooting a normal portrait. This is Gab's idea, by the way. <laughs> it's one of her mirrors at home. And we're gonna take her portrait. There. Go push it, tapos kuhunan ko siya na nasa mirror. Let's do it. Yan na pa, labas na yung araw. So guys, find the best spot in your house kung saan tumatama yung araw ng ganito. It will give really, really nice light for your photos. Let's just wait for the sunlight to appear a little bit more para luwabas yung detail dito sa dahon. Tsaka may shine. Ang kilang yung, yung accent na to sa salamin. Sorry pala may nagda drums sa kabilang bahay so I'm sure naririnig niyo. Let's try it. Let's try it. Check. So nice. Good job. So 
na! Success! In the case that you don't have props or anything that uh, you could incorporate to your images, which I doubt, but kung wala talaga, all it takes actually is uh, really, really good light and a different perspective so that you could create really nice photos at the comfort of your home. And that's what we're gonna do now. So I'm gonna take some photos of this, uh, what do you call this? Leaf wall. Vertical garden. <laughs> of this vertical garden with Gab. Leaf wall. <laughs> this, this part of her house is very gamit sa Instagram ni Gab. Yeah. And let's try to do something different na hindi pa niya nakaka-capture dito sa setting na to. So guys, you can hire Khalil as your personal photographer. Just swipe up. <laughs> Mura lang po charge ko matanggap po ako ng... Uh... Kiss at hug. <laughs> okay. So when I was uh, trying to look for a different angle, sinilip ko from the side. Uh, I'm a huge fan of taking shots pag kami wall na ganito from the edge of the wall. Sorry, nag-start ulit yung drums. So that's what we're gonna do now. Wow, yeah. pa nga so, ano, ganyan dyan. Gusto ko yan, upload ko yan. <laughs> so sometimes, all it takes is a different perspective. Different so, angle. Different angle. So try to re-explore your house. Try nyong kumuha an angle that you've never shot from. And sometimes it could, you know, produce really great results. So talagang trial and error. Yeah. Explore mo yung bahay mo ulit. Ang daming angulo dyan na pwede mong gawin. Tsaka hanapin nyo talaga yung spot na maganda yung ilaw. Yeah. Ako, for me, the light plays a big role. 50%, at least 50% of uh, the, your photograph. Because with good yeah. light comes great results. And we're done. That's it. Uh, I think we five or six layouts. Din kami. Uh, I had fun. Did you have fun? Yeah. We had a lot of fun. Um, I'm pretty sure in the comfort of your own home, madami ka yung pwedeng gawin dyan. Again, Lighting is always important. Just find the best spot in your house with the best light. Mm -hmm. then golden R, guys. Golden the R best. is perfect. So, um, re explore your house and daming angulo jan na hindi nyo pa for your home photo shoots. And that's it for my very first YouTube video in a long time. I promise, guys, I'm gonna be creating more content mm -hmm. in the future. I've actually created some more videos now. Yeah. It's just currently in the editing bay. And I'm gonna be uploading them real soon. So, stay tuned. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you can stay updated with my latest videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys learned a thing or two from us. Yes. And subscribe to my channel also. Yes, subscribe to her <laughs> channel too. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.